Hello, everybody. I am here for another episode of Lalangela Oracle of Ages. We are going to be doing level three, Moonlit Grotto. <sighs> I don't know what else we're gonna do after after we get this dungeon done. I think we're gonna head up, like directly head up to level four. But we're just gonna go with the flow, I guess. <sighs> we got. Pole's voices. Come on. Good RNG. Thank you. Cool. Pole's voices are really... Uh, they're one of those iffy kind of creatures in this game. I don't think... We I don't think we get a sound-based item that can, uh, like, eliminate them. Yes, bombs can go through corners in this game. Alright, let's go up here. We also got Moldorms. Cool. A couple of these guys. At least they don't do a hard damage like they do in A Link to the Past. All right, so we gotta go up there next. One of these times. Uh, yeah. Helmosaurs. Well, I think they're Helmosaurs. I don't have the official name down, but yeah. The idea of this dungeon is getting rid of these crystals. Breaking them. Oh. We have an owl statue. What do you say? Four crystals tie it all together. Right. Yeah, I was just saying that. There's four of them in this dungeon, and we gotta uh, figure out how to break each and every one of them. Alright, so this is a bomb puzzle. And it looks like... A good lot of the idea here, well, I'm, I'm look, with the way I'm looking at it, okay, that's two crystals already. And then we gotta push this into place. That's correct. And we're good to go with this room. Now we can go back to that key door. I like these turnstiles, they're pretty cool. It's literally the center point of the dungeon. <laughs> oh, there's crystal three already. Looks like we can go downstairs. P hats. All right, so game is telling us to go over and around. So we will do just that. Up we go. Like likes. Then another owl statue. Let's see what you need. Stone soldiers do not fear swords. All right, so it sounds like we're dealing with Armos knights in this one. Right. It sucks with this room because if you run out of bombs, you have to redo it. It looks like I may have to redo it. I'm 
last. Oh wow, that, that worked out perfectly. I did not did not plan that. Luckily, these grass patches here are very likely to give you more bombs, so that's nice. And seeds are always nice. Oh, look at that. We have a Zelda 1 level 2 reference. Except this is a two-story room. Or a two-story dungeon. Yeah, level 2! Hello again. Oh, boy. And I don't have a shield in here. This is so annoying. <laughs> okay. That room's done. Anything of interest here? Doesn't seem like anything yet. There's a treasure chest there. Are you even able to get up there? We need another key. Wow. A lot of keys in this dungeon. Why do I keep doing that? Um... Am I missing something? Oh, we also got tectites. <laughs> okay. Are we even able to go this way? No, we gotta get the turnstile to fall down up there. Alright, we are indeed on B1, so... Uh, I don't think we can do anything in this room just yet. <gasps> no! Yeah, we'll come back to that room later. We have more mold uh, another mold arm in here. Nice shot. Let's make sure there's not a door over here. Oh, we can get up to that other crystal. Let's get whatever is down here first. And then we'll go and get that. Cool. And we got the compass. Very nice. Up we go. Well, there's something in here. It sounds like a key from what the compass is saying. Yep. Cool. Alright, let's go back downstairs and let's activate that crystal then. Well, activate. I say, I say let's get rid of that crystal. Because we can just go up here. Give that a little poke. With the old sword. Uh. Actually, I think we need to go back downstairs. Because I believe there was a key door. 
in that one room. Unless if it was upstairs and I just didn't realize it. Um, I'm slightly confused right now. Because we can't get across that area up there. We can go up here. This is that room that we didn't... Mm. A little lost. Yeah, we can't do anything in here still. Go back upstairs. I don't think we've seen the fourth crystal yet either. Why does this guy infinitely respawn, though? I... I am so confused. There was a locked door somewhere, and I'm completely lost on figuring out where it was. Were we even able to go up over here? No, we have to go around, of course. Always have to go around. Forever and always. There's not like an interactive map with this game, which is making it a little more difficult. Oh, wait, well, yeah, we have seen the fourth crystal. It's right there. I mean, I guess we could sit through the tiles again. Break them off our sword and nothing's going to hurt us. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. I, yeah, this is where I was looking. This is what I was looking for. Why are there so many of these? The game's telling us something. Hey, these guys. Ah, we got the seed shooter. Pick your seeds, fire them, watch them ricochet. Sweet. So we have a ranged weapon now. And with that, we can light torches from afar. Yeah. Alright, now that we have that, we can go back to the fourth crystal and activate it. Well, break it. So that's always good. Actually, you know what? It's probably easier to go this way. We do have to sit through all the tiles again, but I don't feel like going through that, that turnstile again. Like, not not right now, anyway. I do believe we're almost done with the dungeon as well, so that's nice. It's kind of worrying to me that we haven't found the mini-boss yet. Sweet. Let's 
So that means, yes, this fell down, and now we can freely... Hey, Gashazid. Not that we really need any of these anymore, but... We can freely go downstairs and find our way to the end of the dungeon. Sweet. So let's go down here and fall right down, I guess. Whee! Whee. All right. So now that this is down here, we have to go this way. Uh, the input lag screwed me up. All right. So Okay, that, that's actually pretty cool. Again, not that we needed the Gasha Sea. Can we push these blocks down too? No. So we had to do it that way. And it's fine with me. All right, so it looks like we have to go around and about again. Probably in search of a key because we don't really have... Well, I'm pretty sure there's other locked doors. We still have not found the mini boss, whoever and whatever that may be. So... We'll leave that for now. Let's go check what's up here. Since we can actually get through this room now. Ooh. Honestly, I should probably be using a seed that's not the fire one, so probably scent seeds. And it figures, the one tree that we get for the scent trees, uh, we're getting all these seeds now. <laughs> oh yeah, we're, we're definitely getting a key somewhere in here. I don't think, yeah, that's not it. Yeah, stop that. All right. So I guess we have to go up here then. Let's see what's up here. That's got to be the boss key. I, I could have swore we were getting... Yeah, we have to be getting a key very shortly here. Hello. Underground, huh? Oh, I actually got a last frame. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, okay. So this is on the far side of that room. That was the mini boss. Here's the key. Okay, I knew it was somewhere. Just not quite certain where. Push that. Here's the key. Yes. Oh, boss door is right there. Hm, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, now I believe we have to use the warp to go back to the beginning of the dungeon. Then we have to... Actually, if we come back here and get in through the bottom door, we can actually just go right through there. All right, let's do it. Clever uses are clever is the short thing for this. 
So with that said, let's go down here and let's go down and around. I'm not sure if that op that door opens up though. Does it open up? No, it doesn't. So that. Hmm. Well, I would hope clever use is a thing, but. Maybe if we can get up to where the mini boss was. Because we have to go up and around. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Let's actually hit our target today, please. I hate how these things have invulnerability while they're flying. It makes it really difficult to do anything here. No. Oh, I see. We have to go up and around and all the way over here. Yeah, so we have to come back around again. That's kind of whatever. This block isn't going to move when we come back, though. It's unfortunate, but that's that's whatever at this point. Alrighty, let's go get the boss key, and then we can end off uh, this dungeon. I think I, I want to try my best to... I want to try my best to get up to level 4, at least where it generally is, and do uh next episode with level 4. I think level 4 is going to be pretty long, if I remember correctly, though. Alright. So now I get to do this fun room again. I appreciate the heart, thank you. And I gotta stop. I gotta stop, like, going over to there first. Ugh. Stop it, get off me. I don't really need to do that again, but yeah. This room kind of resets the default. That's pretty cool. Well, it kind of did anyway. All right. Huh? I guess that block stays there then. It's weird. All right, boss time. <laughs> you cannot see who I am, for I am your shadow. Oh boy. Okay, she doesn't... We need to avoid all this crap. That's pretty simple. Just stay away from the shadows. Oh wow, she does a lot of damage. I do not want another game over here.
Got her. Sweet. I told you I didn't want to get another game over, and I am not getting another game over. Not right now. And hopefully not ever. We're good. <laughs> Let's get this and get out of here. You got the echoing howl, an essence of time. It echoes far across the plains to speak to insolent hearts. Well, that's... Okay. That works. Uh, hello. Ambi's tower will soon be complete. Oh, no. How... How did they build that so high, though? Oh, my lord. That is... Really fast. Jeez. I guess we really got to get moving. From the peaks northwest of Lina City. Can you go? Yes, I can. Let's do so. <laughs> Dimitri, hello Dimitri. Swimming. Was it really that close? Wow, I guess it was. Huh. Well, that was quick. We're back on the shore. Alrighty. Um, Tingle said something about uh, if you collect many seeds, he'll help us out. Help us out. Let's see if he actually uh, will do so. Let's say hi. Look at all the mystical seeds you've gathered. Tingle the fairy can make it so your satchel can carry more seeds. Shall I? Yes, please. Very well, then Tingle shall work his magic. Close your eyes. Tingle, tingle. Kulu limpa. Of course. Now we can carry up to 50 seeds apiece. Let's... Go. That is going to be so helpful. Also, you're able to hit him from down here. <laughs> Silly. All right, so we need to go to Lina Village. I'm kind of hoping we run into Maple soon. Because I'm pretty sure we... Oh, darn it. Ah. <sighs> I didn't realize she was on the screen. Oh, hello? That's much more reasonable. I'll buy this. How many rings do we have right now? None? I guess I don't have to waste money on that. Yeah, so that flute, there's one other spot that you can get a flute from. And that's in the past with that, the target practice game. I don't remember what this flute actually gives us, but we will get it. What do we need? Okay, so that. It said to the northwest, if I'm not mistaken. Go to the west. Oh my god, come on. Symmetry C City and Lina City. Okay. 
There's a chest up there. Up we go. That's convenient. Hello. Here you go. Ha! Meat. What's this? Hand it over. Fruit at last. Nom 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 nom. Why are you staring at me? Oh, you want something? How greedy! How mean! You won't leave until you get something? Fine, you can have this. Ha! Meat. Doggy mask. Alright, that oddity is uh, done. Let's check C and Lena here. Because I believe our trading side quest can really, really go forward. Uh, little puppy. Mamamu Yan, okay. Here you go. But there's only one. What was a dog playing with a dumbbell for in the first place, though? Anyway, that dumbbell is actually part of the... Well, obviously it's part of the trade quest, but it's going to be part of where we're going next. So we're going up here. We're going to explore. And we got these guys. It's so funny just watching them burn like that. And we also got Zora. That's nice. Alright, so... Oh, okay. That flute actually changes what this area is. So, with all of this water, I'm pretty sure Dimitri is who we're getting with that flute. So, shop flute equals Dimitri. Default flute is Moosh. And then the one from the uh, Target minigame that I played last episode, I believe it was. That is uh, Ricky. I kind of wanted Ricky, but either way. We can't even get Dimitri up in that waterfall. That's whatever. Right. I mean, shallow water is bad enough. I can swim in the lesser water, but... Huh? Mister, I found you. Listen, it's a mess. Sorry about that. Issues. You gotta love uh, choking on your own saliva. That's. Ugh. Stings. That kind of jazz. Sorry I had to go mute there, but I don't need to be coughing on screen. Uh, on stream. Or on video. As much as I <laughs> already have. And I'm. <clears throat> already out of breath. Hold on. Did we get the thing over here? No, we didn't. We'll go down and around and grab that. 
Up and over. It's a... Uh, why? Why? What? And it's 50 rupees. These fairies are greedy. <sighs> God, I gotta clear my throat after that crap. You're the one who are, who are playing tricks on this poor creature. There he is. I mean, Dimitri's slightly weird too, but... Sweet, so we got Dimitri as our, uh, as our ally. Dimitri is kind of slow, but really fast on water. Uh, Yeah, slow on land, fast in water. <laughs> Eats grass, too. That's cool. Well, I am waiting to use it. We have to go talk to the guy again to actually get that activated. Sure. All right, let's go. Let's go, Dimitri. Hello. Quite a few new enemies here. a ring we can appraise with Vasu later. I'm still surprised that we got the uh, the uh, the Agasha tree heart piece so soon. Unfortunately though that means maple is going to be ridiculous to get. I like how Dimitri just doesn't get pushed by this stuff. That's cool. All right up the waterfall. Bad flowers. Aha, there you are. Oh, wow. You're already done? I guess you fools can work. But no time for breaks now. On to the next job. Yes, boss. Hmm. 
All right, let's call up our buddy once again because there's a, a Gasha. There's a Gasha tree place that I want to dig up real quick. Well, we have to go all the way down and around. Of course we do. Literally, down and all the way around. You know, as far as designs go, I think Dimitri's my favorite for uh, looks alone. But my favorite to actually wander around on is actually uh, Ricky. Always good to find a great fairy. <clears throat> Is there anything over here? No. I like how Dimitri just doesn't care about what he's eating. Alright, we'll go ahead. Just cause. We gotta go... We gotta go back to... Uh, Toke Island or uh, Crescent Island in a minute. Oh, sorry, Dimitri. I'll see you later then. Alright, so this is This is Symmetry City. Looks abandoned. Oh. This is about the last place I wanted to meet her. Yeah, well, I left the screen again. We will... Oh, hello. We'll just do that encounter later. We're going to be getting rid of a lot more enemies. So, Symmetry Village, and we just got Gale Seeds, so... Pretty sure that's level four. Like, the whole place just got torn up and abandoned. I guess we need to go to the past, because that's what it's telling us here. <clears throat> okay. Oh man, what's going on up here? The tuning nut is broken, what? Will you listen to my Yes, 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 yes. The closer the Black Tower gets to completion, the stranger the city gets. When the Tuni Nut broke, the city fell out of balance, and the volcano started erupting. The Tuni Nut is the city's symbol. We dutifully worship this nut. The rules of Symmetry City require that left and right be in perfect balance, but the Tuni Nut at the center of the city is broken. Symmetry City is all out of balance. If we don't get the Toonie Nut fixed and put back, Symmetry City will be destroyed by the eruptions. Yes, I do. I've given the broken Toonie Nut to my husband, but he can't climb Restoration Wall. Okay. What is down here? Sway right, sway left, move left, sway right, move right, sway left. I'm so skinny, I wish I could change. Sway left, sway right. I know, I'll work out. Except I only I have one dumbbell. Sway left, sway right. Working one arm at a time. It goes against my policy. If I can't do left and right at the same time... Sway left, sway right. Sway left, sway right. He seems to be fixated on your dumbbell. Give him the... Yeah, here, take it. That's it. That's what I wanted. Now I can lift, lift, lift. I'll get all the girls now, eh? Sway left, sway right. I'm so skinny, I can't offer you much. Uh, I know. Rip. Gotta work out. You got a cheesy mustache. It's weird. Get the girls, get the girls. Dude, he just ripped off his mustache full force. <laughs> <clears throat> With the ease of that, though, I imagine... I imagine it was a fake stash anyway. 
down from the mountaintop. Aren't we on the top of the mountain here? Right. Okay. Right. Yes, yes, I can. Will do. All right, let's go, 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 go. I want to talk to this one last person in here because we never went into this house. So, the volcano is a cave. So, again, that's got to be level four. But for now, we need to go see Patch. So let's go do that. That's a dive spot. Let's go. That's not what I meant to do. Hey, Cheap Cheeps! We're still getting uh, Mario enemies and Zelda games here. That's hilarious. Hmm. Weird. Oh, hello. I am Taki. I research time. After many years of research, I'm one step away from perfecting a tune that lets one move forward in time, but it seems I've hit a roadblock. Echoes produce waves. What could it mean? That's the tune of Echoes! That's the tone my research lacked. It has answered my remaining questions. Now I can finish my tune. Okay. <laughs> Ye of many tunes, I grant you a new tune. Time flows on when you play the tune of currents. When you play this tune, you'll immediately drift back to your own time. If you are in a place from which you cannot reach your own time, you'll return to the past. Cool. That's convenient. Choose it when you use the harp. Well, thank you, sir. Now we can probably proceed up the rest of the mountain. So I'm pretty sure that's a Gasha tree place up there, but I'm kind of more worried about getting the patch right now. I just ran into that. So now that we have that, when we're in the past, we do not need to find one of those uh tune placement. Hey! Oh, he's down to get a heart piece. Let's go. Let's go back up here now, too. Let's make sure these things are out of the way. Ow! Don't do that.
Let's see what the owl statue has to play. Or has to has to say. Times flow can change the land. Well, that's convenient. I see. That's another Gasha tree spot there. That looks interesting. Hearts are always good. All right, let's lift this up. Now the tune of currents only works one way. So when we're in the pass, it can only push us forward. So we would have to find another one of these spots to actually get anywhere. So we can't go up there. Looks like the enemies get weaker as uh, time flows forward. Up we go. Um... I th think we need to be over here. No? It's like a special rock. And immediately blocked from doing anything there. <clears throat> oh, wow. This is getting pretty close to being an hour-long episode. Uh, let's go back to the present. We're going to leave this uh, bulb here. This bean stuck. And we're going to go up. Do not throw anything into the water. Um, it says throw, so... Did you drop a golden bomb? Or a silver bomb? Uh, I dropped a regular one. Well, thank you. 30, let's go. Sweet. <clears throat> now, I don't think we need to... Oh. We have to be on the bottom part of that bean, I guess. I don't think we need to move the water back to where it was. I imagine that would be a lot of stupidity. So let's see what's up here. Imagine there'd be like a lot of holes or something. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm, again! That's three times we've missed Maple. Okay, so we have to go back up there anyway. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious, I'm not having the best of times right now. So much backtracking. Let's go then.
Yeah, just as far as the uh, maple meetings thing, just eliminate as many monsters as you can. There's no rocks here. However, let's go to the present. I saw a chest here, and this leads directly right over that area, leading into where the second dungeon was. Yes. And it's a Gasher Seed. Okay. And I guess we just go back. Restoration wall. We have to watch out for all these falling rocks. All right, we're up. I'm curious. That cave is where we need to be, but I'm wondering if there's anything up here in the present. It's a lot of water. That's a drop down. And this is where we came in. There's the meat tree, yeah. <clears throat> So this is Patch. Yes, I did. All right, so this part of the game is actually kind of annoying. Welcome to Patch's Crazy Card. Will you partake in my ceremony? Yes, I will. Very well, do you want to hear the rules? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Then let me explain. I'll place your tuny nut on that green tile and recite the words of my restoration ceremony. You must knock all the beasts that appear into a hole. Any hole will do. Sounds easy, right? However, restoration is delicate work. Your precious tuny nut sits on these tracks. The cart starts moving when the ceremony begins. As long as you stand on the switch, the cart won't hit your tuny nut. But if you don't, and it gets hit, bang. So, will you take part in this fun or delicate procedure ceremony? So that's not as bad as it uh, made me uh, seem. May seem. Mm -hmm. My ceremony succeeded. You are talented. You got through this trap er ceremony. Here's your tuning nut. As good as new. As usual, I am perfect. Cool. Here you go. Got the tuning nut. Bring me anything else that needs fixing, and I'll prepare my trap er ceremony. All right. All right. So we effectively can go into the next dungeon and I'll let this go a little longer until we actually get that all settled so let's go in here place the tuny nut oh hour long video by the looks of it oh I just smacked my desk I like how they're saying the exact same thing. So. <laughs> it had a secret cave in it, but that's a secret. Well, anyway. We're just about done here. The cave in question is level 4, and with all that said... Hey! It's all cleaned out, and it's now water. Sweet. 
Level 4, Skull Dungeon. This is my favorite level in this entire game. And we're going to do this in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Thank you for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and are wanting to show your support. Get this thing flowing so everybody can see it. And just generally more people. <laughs> I'm sure everybody will start finding it and uh, yeah. Drop a comment if you have anything to direct my attention to or if you just have something you want to present to everybody and that kind of thing if you really want to support my channel my growth all that and you want to stay tuned for what i'm going to do in the future consider subscribing i'll appreciate it greatly that's the easiest way to help me grow and whatever support that you can give will be greatly appreciated once again thank you for watching and bye bye